Do you ever feel like life has given you a bad hand? Do you ever feel like you never have enough money to accomplish and do what you want to do and you never seem to have enough friends or the right kind of friends and maybe you're not being treated right at work? Does that sound familiar? Well, I've got an answer for you that I think will help and it's found in the Bible. We'll talk about it today in your morning cup of inspiration. Thanks for joining me. One simple word can solve all of that. It's called generosity. Listen to Proverbs, the 11th chapter. I want to share two verses that I think will help tell the story. And listen to this. In the 24th verse, it says, Scatter what you have and increase more. Withholding more leads to poverty. The 25th verse says, The generous will be made rich. So if you water you'll be watered. It goes against the human nature, doesn't it? But the Bible has this principle called the sowing and reaping principle. Just like a farmer, you have to sow before you can reap. Our human nature wants to say, God, give me a lot of money and I'll be happy to give you some back. Well, that's not how God works. God says, Give me of your first, and I will bless you beyond what you could imagine. So you might be saying, Lord, I don't have time to do this or do that or help in the church. I'm so busy. I've got so much to do. He says, give of your time, and you'll be amazed at how much you're able to accomplish through the course of a day. Maybe you're whining because you don't have the friends you want to have. Hey, be a good friend first. Those around you, maybe your workers, maybe your co-workers, you don't feel like you're being treated well, step up, be the first person to volunteer for the job no one wants. Maybe be extra kind to those that aren't kind to you. Um, who knows how impacting that could be to those around you, to your coworkers and your boss. So be generous. Begin to have that life of generosity. Begin to step up and sow those seeds with your money, with your time, with the kindness, with the way you treat people, and watch God return far more than you could imagine. The generous will be rich. And I trust that you will take that to heart today I'm going to do the same thing. Uh, God bless. Thanks for joining me for that morning cup of inspiration, and we'll see you next time.